a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Suits, US TV series. Suits is an American legal drama television series created and written by Aaron Korsh. The series premiered on June 23, 2011, on the cable network USA, and is produced by Universal Cable. Suits is set at a fictional law firm in New York City. The focal point of the show follows talented college dropout Mike Ross, who initially works as a law associate for Harvey Specter. Despite never actually having attended law school, the show focuses on Harvey and Mike managing to close cases while maintaining Mike's secret. Suits has been nominated for several awards since 2012, with Gina Torres and Patrick J. Adams receiving individual praise for their roles as Jessica Pearson and Mike Ross, respectively. On top of two nominations recognizing her role as a supporting actress, Torres was awarded Outstanding Performance in a Television Series at the 2013 NHMC Impact Awards. Adams was nominated for Outstanding Performance by a Male Actor in a Drama Series at the 2012 Screen Actors Guild Awards, and the show itself has been nominated for two People's Choice Awards. On January 30, 2018, it was announced the series was renewed for an eighth season without series regulars Patrick J. Adams and Meghan Markle. It was later announced that Katherine Heigl would join the cast in season eight as attorney Samantha Wheeler, with recurring stars Dulé Hill and Amanda Skull being promoted to series regulars. On March 8, 2018, it was announced previous series star, Gina Torres, will have a spin-off centered around her character, Jessica Pearson later announced to be titled Second City. Season 8 premiered on July 18, 2018. Season 1, 2011 Former student Mike Ross makes a living illegally taking the law school admission test for others. To pay for his grandmother's care, he agrees to deliver a case of marijuana for his best friend Trevor, a drug dealer. Mike astutely avoids being arrested in a sting, only to stumble into a job interview with Harvey Specter called the best closer in the city. Mike's knowledge of the law impresses Harvey enough to win him the associate position, even though Mike didn't attend Harvard. Together they try cases for the firm while maintaining the secret that Mike is a fraud. Season 2, 2012-13 Jessica Pearson, managing partner, learns Mike's secret, but other issues take precedence when co-founding partner Daniel Hardman returns to the firm, pressuring Jessica and Harvey. Mike begins to foster a relationship with paralegal Rachel Zane, but finds himself pursuing other romantic entanglements after his grandmother's sudden death. Harvey and his secretary Donna face accusations of burying evidence and must discover the truth while keeping incriminating evidence from Hardman, who would use it to leverage a managing partner position. The intensifying threat from Hardman forces Jessica into a merger with a British firm headed by Edward Darby and Mike reveals he's a fraud to Rachel. Season 3, 2013-14 Darby's presence in the firm gives Harvey leverage to seek a position as a named partner. Meanwhile, the merger causes Louis Litt to clash with his British counterpart. Darby international client Ava Hessington draws Harvey into a lengthy trial against his former mentor and, when the lawsuit turns into a murder charge, the arrest of Darby's fixer. Stephen Huntley becomes grounds for a messy dissolution of the merger. Rachel gets accepted into law school at Columbia, and she and Mike move in together. Realizing that his fraud can't continue forever, Mike leaves newly renamed Pearson Specter to take a position as an investment banker. Season 4, 2014-15 Mike's new job puts him and Harvey on opposite sides of a takeover battle, causing the SEC to accuse them of collusion. When Mike is fired, Louis goes to extreme lengths to persuade Mike to come back to Pierce Inspector, which put him in debt to shady billionaire investor Charles Forstman. Louis demands a name partner position, competing with Harvey, but his wrongdoings get him fired instead. When he realizes Mike never went to Harvard, he blackmails Jessica into rehiring him with the promotion he desired. Mike proposes to Rachel. Donna leaves Harvey to work for Louis. Season 5, 2015-16 Harvey struggles with losing Donna and begins to open up to a therapist about his broken relationship with his mother. 
Lewis insecurity, however, and desire to undermine Harvey create an opening for Jack Soloff, an ambitious partner who is being manipulated by Hardman. Rachel's wedding plans and her relationship with her parents are both overshadowed by Mike's secret. Mike and Harvey both resign to protect their future, but Mike is abruptly arrested for fraud. More and more people involved realize the allegations are true, and facing a tenacious Anita Gibbs, Mike accepts a plea bargain, pleads guilty, and turns himself in so that no one else will go to jail. At the wedding, Mike tells Rachel that he will not marry her now, but if she still wants him in two years then he will marry her after getting out of prison. Harvey escorts him to prison making their last few goodbyes. Season 6, 2016-17 a two-year prison sentence puts Mike at the mercy of Frank Gallo, an inmate with a grudge against Harvey. At Pearson Specter Lit, few employees remain to help. Rachel works an innocence project case for her law professor. Jessica assists pro bono, but is distracted from matters at the firm, and chooses to leave her position to pursue her own life. Mike's cellmate proves pivotal in a deal for Mike's freedom. He struggles with his fraud being public knowledge, but obtains a job at a legal clinic. Harvey helps both Rachel and Mike pass the bar, and persuades Mike to come back to the firm, but not after Harvey has to cross some ethical lines to make sure Mike does pass the bar. Season 7, 2017-18 Everyone at the firm struggles to adjust to a new normal without Jessica. Donna takes a position as COO and Harvey's friend Alex joins the team. Harvey begins dating his former therapist, Paula. Louis sees a therapist of his own, with mixed results. Rachel begins her career as an attorney, having passed the bar. Mike continues to work pro bono cases at the clinic, with Harvey's blessing. But one of the cases puts Alex, Harvey and others at risk. Louis and Sheila reconnect, as does Jessica with her family in Chicago. Mike and Rachel accept a job offer in Seattle. Washington to run their own firm that takes on class action suits, and get married before leaving. Development Suits first appeared on USA Network's development slate under the title Illegal Mind in April 2010. On April 5, 2010, USA announced that it was developing seven new pilots for its 2010-2011 television season, including Illegal Mind, which would later become Suits. The premiere was written by Aaron Korsh, and David Bartis and Jean Klein served as executive producers. It was later announced on May 17, 2010, that USA ordered a 90-minute cast contingent pilot for the series. The network later picked up A Legal Mind on January 19, 2011, and ordered 11 one-hour episodes in addition to the 90-minute pilot. Creator Aaron Korsh, whose notes from the Underbelly sitcom was cancelled during the 2007, 2008 writer's strike, wrote a spec script intended to be a half-hour entourage type based on my experiences working on Wall Street. He later realized that the project should have hour-long episodes. Korsh and his agent took the script to several production companies and wanted to give the script to Universal Media Studios. However, Korsh found it odd that the studio did not want to sell the script to NBC. The network the studio typically worked with. Course agent convinced USA Network executive Alex Sepiel that although the series was neither a procedural nor what the network typically did, he would like the characters. Sepiel approved of the script, and by then, Hypnotic Films and Television signed on to the project. The team pitched the script to USA Network, which bought the script after the pitch. Course did not pitch it to anyone else. When rewriting the script, Korsh made only small changes to the first half hour, up to when Mike is hired. Originally, Mike did not take LSATs for others, and only pretends to have attended Harvard, as opposed to pretending he attended Harvard and has a law degree. Korsh noted that there is no degree or test needed to work on Wall Street and be a mathematical genius, unlike the bar examination in law. He decided to embrace this difference and change the premise. The pilot episode was filmed in New York City, where the series is set. The rest of the series is filmed in Toronto, where the sets are built to be identical to the New York law offices seen in the pilot. To promote the series' debut, USA had an advanced screening of the pilot on June 2, 2011, at the Hudson River Park. 
and distributed free Hagen Dazs Sundays cones at the viewing. The network also had a branded ice cream carts, bikes, and scooters giveaway at the Sundays and USA Slash Entertainment Weekly 2011 Promotion Summer Guides on June 22 and 23. They also held the promotion in New York City, Los Angeles, Chicago, San Francisco, and Boston to endorse the pilot. Casting and Marketing The season was created by Aaron Porsche and was aired on the USA Network in the United States. The season was produced by Hypnotic Films and Television and Universal Cable Productions. The executive producers were Korsh, Doug Lehman, and David Bartis. The staff writers were, Korsh with three writing credits. Sean Yablonski, John Cowan, Ethan Drogan, and Rick Muragi with two each. And Erica Lippes with one. The directors throughout the season were Kevin Bray, John Scott, Danny Gordon, Kate Woods, Terry McDonough, Tim Matheson, Norberta Barber, Felix Alcala, Jennifer Getzinger, and Mike Smith. The first role in which a casting spot was filled was for Patrick J. Adams, who was cast in the lead role of Mike Ross in July 2010. In late July, Gabriel Mack joined the main cast as Harvey Specter. Rick Hoffman came on board in mid-August to portray Harvey's competition, Louis, at the law firm. Meghan Markle and Gina Torres soon joined the cast in late August who were set to play Rachel Zane and Jessica Pearson respectively. Sarah Rafferty completed the main cast as Donna, and the pilot was filmed in New York City in the fall of 2010. The series was soon commissioned with a 12-episode order on January 19, 2011. The series began filming in Toronto on April 25, 2011, and completed on August 12, 2011, in New York City. Post-production for the series was done at Cherry Beach Sound. Greenback Boogie, by I'm a Robot serves as the theme song of the show and was released as a single on September 18, 2010, and is included on the band's third album, Another Man's Treasure. A deleted scene leaked onto YouTube shows Victor Garber as Philip Hardman, originally part of the pilot, but was ultimately cut during script rewrites. It shows that Hardman had retired from the firm on his own accord. Despite being cut for American audiences, the scene was left in for British viewers when it was first aired, and the scene continues to be included in reruns. Broadcast and Home Media The first season premiered on June 23, 2011, and concluded on September 8, 2011. It ran for 12 episodes, including a 90-minute pilot. The complete first season was available on Region 1 DVD on May 1, 2012, and Region AB Blu-ray on April 10, 2014. Suits was renewed for a second season consisting of 16 episodes on August 11, 2011, which premiered on June 14, 2012. The mid-season finale aired on August 23, 2012, with the remaining six episodes returning on January 17, 2013. The complete second season was available on Region 1 DVD on December 2, 2013, and Region AB Blu-ray on June 26, 2014. On October 12, 2012, the show was renewed for a third season of 16 episodes. Season 3 premiered on July 16, 2013, with the final six episodes airing after March 6, 2014. The complete third season was available on December 22, 2014 on Region 1 DVD and was released on Region AB Blu-ray on September 1, 2014. A fourth season of 16 episodes was announced on October 24, 2013. Season 4 premiered on June 11, 2014, with the mid-season finale on August 6, 2014. The complete fourth season was available on June 8, 2015, on Region 1 DVD and was released on Region AB Blu-ray on June 8, 2015. On August 11, 2014, USA Network announced a fifth season of 16 episodes, which premiered on June 24, 2015. The complete fifth season was available on May 31, 2016 Region 1 DVD and was released on Region AB Blu-ray on June 6, 2016. The complete sixth season was available on Region 1 DVD on May 30, 2017 and was released on Region AB Blu-ray on May 29, 2017. On July 1, 2015, Suits was renewed for a sixth season consisting of 16 episodes, 
and premiered on July 13, 2016. The series is available through streaming services on Amazon Video, iTunes, Vudu, and Xfinity. In the United Kingdom and Ireland, the first six seasons of Suits were broadcast on Dave. But the channel chose to drop the series before season seven, causing Netflix to pick up the UK rights, streaming the programme less than 24 hours after its US broadcast. Netflix did not pick up the rights for Ireland. The series has not been released on Blu-ray in the United States or in Canada, but Region AB releases are readily available in the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain. Critical Reception Suits has received critical acclaim on Metacritic. On Rotten Tomatoes, the series holds a 91% approval rating with the season 3 consensus reading, though it's occasionally overly wordy. Suits stimulates with drama derived from the strength of its well-developed characters' relationships. Carrie Raisler of the AV Club said, Suits has more internal forward momentum than almost anything else on television right now. And when it's on, like it mostly is here, it just cooks. Julie Hines of the Detroit Free Press said, The combination of Gabriel Macda's slick attorney Harvey Specter and Patrick J. Adams as unlicensed legal genius Mike Ross has been a winning one. Spin-off In February 2017, USA began early talks for a potential Jessica Pearson spin-off. Gina Torres would star in and produce the spin-off. In August 2017, it was revealed that the season 7 finale of Suits would serve as a backdoor pilot to the potential Jessica Pearson spin-off series. On March 8, 2018, it was announced the Jessica Pearson spin-off was picked up to series. On May 14, 2018, Gina Torres announced at NBC Universal's annual upfront presentation in New York City that the series would be titled Second City. Remix Jang Dong-gun and Park Hyung-sik will star in a Korean remake of the series, which will be produced by Monster Union and Enter Media Pictures and be broadcast on Cabes 2 in 2018. Yuji Oda and Yutone Akajima will play leading roles in a Japanese remake broadcast by Fuji Television in 2018. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries. Would you like to know more?